It's an incredible opportunity to be the first photographer to test out the new Nikon 1J5 camera. One thing that has always been a challenge for me as a sports photographer in particular is carrying all my equipment on my back. To have a camera like the 1J5 and its lenses that are so compact and yet you know, can achieve such incredible professional quality means that I can, I can travel light and it makes it so much easier to do what I do. Can I get you just to walk through in front of me and jump over that log at the far end? The really big challenge has been the huge number of shots, both stills, photography and also video, that we are trying to achieve in a really, really tight time frame. We've got the perfect camera for the job. We can be really fast moving, we can go where the weather or the light is good, we can adapt and get more shots in a shorter period of time. We've been doing a variety of shots with this camera, everything from fast action sports shots, slow motion movies, 4K movies. We've been doing everything really with this incredible little camera. So the shots we've been doing so far have been with two kids playing soccer, um, running straight towards camera, and that's a very difficult focus situation for any camera because things are happening really quickly. We've been shooting in sports mode, capturing 20 frames a second and getting 20 sharp frames. And the whole way I want you guys to be shoulder to shoulder, full power and go! This is Lake Wakatipu behind us and we are just waiting for the sun to pop out of the clouds. We've got five Nikon 1J5s set out along here along the shoreline, different lenses, different angles. The 4K shooting mode with the 1J5 is an incredible feature to have in such a small camera. It basically means cinematic or even beyond cinematic quality, so it really is the cutting edge of video quality these days and you basically you've got a cinema camera in your pocket. Okay, action! Wherever you look, wherever you point your camera looks beautiful. But it can sometimes almost be overwhelming, like where do I start shooting? And I think having the ability to change lenses allows you to create totally different looks really easily in one place with equipment that you can easily carry with you and just literally have in a pocket. Yeah, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Selfie. Let's see how, how good you are. The really cool thing is the screen. I really love to shoot inconvenient angles. I'll often lie on the ground when I shoot low lens shots. I'll get into the water. Those shots, if you don't have a flip out screen that you can look at from waist level, they're much, much harder to achieve. So that screen for me in particular is a real lifesaver. If it's more convenient to reach out with your thumb or your finger and touch the, the screen, that's what you do. If it's easy enough to touch the buttons, that's what you do. So it gives you a lot of latitude and a small camera and effectively gives you really good ergonomics. I really like the creative modes, the ability to see with a live preview exactly how your image will look. We are in the high contrast monochrome mode. When I look at the display, I see exactly how my image looks and I can adjust accordingly. The creative modes are definitely you know, a major asset and, and will help any photographer to shoot images specifically for the creative mode that they're using and therefore end up with a better result. And that's a key part of capturing a good photo. I may not even need to take my big camera bag on some shoots. I would say there will literally be times where I won't even have the camera bag with me. I will just have the Nikon 1J5 and a few lenses to go with it. Travel light, shoot fast, go places and shoot things that I simply can't do with bigger equipment.